All right, this video has no content. Uh, what I want to do is I want to try and save you and save me from going through an email to try and explain the things that I'm going to explain to you right now as we go into uncharted territory of writing the first exam post COVID-19. So I'll be sending off an email to everyone anyway, just telling you, hey, go on to YouTube, take a look at this. Uh, I'm going to be titling this as 272 exam prep. So everybody should be able to, to find this, I hope. I wanna make this short and I wanna make this hopefully nice and concise. First, lymphatic system, urinary system, not endocrine. I told everybody earlier that, yeah, I made a mistake on that schedule. The first thing was endocrine and I changed it to lymphatic. So we're talking about spleen, tonsils, aminoglobulins. Um, I think you know what I'm talking about. So we'll be dealing with lymphatic as well as urinary. Nephrons are a big deal when it comes to urinary. Trust me, nephrons, no nephrons. Now, um, the information that I wanna give you, first of all, um, how long do you have? When are you going to get this? I'm going to push this out to all of you at, depending on your class, 9 a.m. or 12.30. You'll have one and a half hours to complete it and send it back. If it's not in my inbox by either 10.30 or two o'clock, it's considered not done. So I don't want to put a lot of pressure on you, which is why I've kind of made it a little bit smaller. Uh, it'll be a total of 28 multiple choice as far as it stands right now. Two essays, you may have choices on some of those, you may not. Um, and what I would like you to do is pop open the attachment. It'll be a Word file. It will be the exam. As far as answering it, I've had individuals either highlight the correct answer or write down at the bottom or the beginning I think the correct answer is D or it's C, whatever way you wanna get back to me. The reason I'd like it sent back as an attachment, so just reply and attach your modified email, is I've done this in one class so far. I've had PDF files, I've had uh, attachments, I've had pictures of um, laptops, I have, I, it's been all over the place. So we're all going into uncharted territory with this. So beginning of class, I'll push it out. You have an hour and a half, open the attachment, do the exam, fire it back to me in an hour and a half. Um, make sure you check your web access. I've also had students so far that have all of a sudden realized I don't, I don't have access, which if you're in an hour and a half window, it can be pretty tight. So check that access and pull it up, write it, fire it back to me, and then I'll get these exam grades back to you, hopefully by Thursday, uh, possibly, I'm gonna have to roll it over through the weekend into Tuesday of next week. Um, trying to think if there's anything else that I should mention. I guess content, what am I looking for? Uh, as we go through these systems, let me give you an idea what some of the important things that I, I'm, I'm looking for happen to be. When it comes to lymphatic structure, you know, the, the, the lymphatic capillaries, spleen, what's it do, where is it? Tonsils, what do they do? Where are they? And then, we get into some interesting things. We get into the world of immunoglobulins, IgA, IgM, IgG, things like that. What do they do? Because as hopefully you know already, they each have their own specific function. So that will be a series of questions. Non-specific and specific immunity, that'll be on there um, as I go through this preliminary version of the exam. You know your B cells from your T cells and let me give you a hint, um, a big deal 
is going to be clonal selection. I'll say it again, clonal selection and humoral mediated versus cell mediated immunity and that immune response. Um, I think you know already that I like essays that are content driven. It's not just a really simple question. It's how do you put these things together? So humoral immunity, I can guarantee is going to be on there. Cell mediated immunity will be on there. And make sure you know all the steps where the cells are involved. I know when we went through it, it's pretty complex. So dive into it, get comfortable with it. And then urinary, um, essentially same thing, structures, muscles, uh, detrusors. Um, let me see if I can give you some more information off another one of these pages. Oh yeah, the efferent, afferent arterioles going into the Bowman's capsule. Um, boy, some of the angiotensins, renins, and how do you make sure you don't wet your pants after you've had a lot to drink? Also, as I, I think I said, uh, the nephron. Know the nephron. Not only descending and ascending, but proximal and convoluted tubules, that whole loop of Henle, not only where you would find it, what it looks like, and kidney anatomy as well, but what do they do? What goes in? What goes out? Where does the filtrate come in? Where does the filtrate go? And you may see a question, question or two on the juxtaglomerular apparatus. So as you can tell, this would have taken 20 pages for me to say on an email. I will be sending a reminder email out in just a few minutes. If you have questions, I will have my, my computer on. I had a, a big issue this weekend. Uh, which is why I was not able to check emails for like four days and I felt like crap because of it, but I can now. So I will be watching to field your questions as they may or may not come in. I th think, I think that's everything. <clears throat> so like I said, let me know if you have any questions. Emails on its way. Bye. Good luck.